Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can use KDE Connect, an Android and Linux application that helps you to easily share files and notification between your Linux and Android device. You can even use this on your Windows computer. So here you can see I have installed KDE Connect on my MX Linux installation. Uh, process is really simple and easy to install it on K on your Linux machine. Let me show you the command that I used. First of all, you should run this command sudo apt-get space update. And then you can run this command sudo apt install kde connect to install this one. Then go to your start menu and search for kde and you will see these two options kde connect indicator and kde connect settings. Now open kde connect settings and you will see your available dev device. I have already installed it on my Linux system as well. So I can see this here. Now here you can see the live screen activity and we can request pair from our system and I can see a notification pairing request from high Linux. So I can tap this on one and I can accept. And now I can share and receive files. So if you go to settings, I can change the settings. So let's open this KDE directory. I have changed this location. The default location is download directory. And here you can see we have two files. So now if I go to my device. I can type send files and let's send this image and now you can see we have a new image let's send another image from our device this time this one and now you can see we have another image and we have received it successfully. You can even send video files and other media. And you also have some other settings. And next we have plugin settings. If you go to plugin settings, you can see we have run command, clipboard sync and some other options. We can even receive notifications, share and receive and file system expose and some other settings. You can also see this KDE Connect indicator here. If you go to OPPO, we have option. We can see the total battery percentage. You can see on screen it's 82%. Then we have ring device option, send file. And we have browse device option. So let's try to browse our device. and send file option so let's share this file no one no apps and now if i browse my downloads directory go to files internal storage you can see downloads we should see this file here or i think we need to change some settings so let's go to settings and here you can see option share and receive so I tap on the share and receive and now we can see this message share and receive to share files between your phone and your desktop you need to give access to phone storage so let's tap allow okay and now let's try to send files go to oppo send file and let's select this file and now 
you can see this message received file from high linux os and this is the file that we received we can use photos to view this image you can see i have received this image and let's go to our system and you can see this is the same image that we have on our system so this is how you can use kde connect to easily share files between your android device and your computer or your windows or linux machine now it is working fine you can go to kde connect uh, option you can browse device you can ring device you can send files you can view battery indicator and you can see all other settings thank you very much for watching this video